All right, coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. All right, going for the early takedown, he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Oh, man, this guy's got elbows for days, huh? He throws them up. He throws them across the body. He just has a variety of elbow attacks. Sound strike on the ground. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Elbow's landing now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. And they both stand up. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Piotr Jan. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Ooh, what a punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Oh, strike lands there and something. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did.